The president earlier today posted and then retracted a tweet that read, I had nothing to do with, with Russia helping me to get elected. Well, actually, he, he, what he, he, I think there was a typo in it, and that's why he retracted it, and then ultimately he reposted the same thing. So it's still, I believe it's still up there. I had nothing to do with Russia helping me to get elected. But your, your larger point, is that's, that, a tr that's a profound admission by the president, although he tried to walk it back. He'd, I got me elected, right, is what, is what he said in person. Yeah, on, but he on, said, that's right. Russia I, helped me get, to get elected. I, mean, I had, that, that's I had a, nothing to do with this. So, I mean, what did you think about that as a slip of the tongue? Perhaps? Well, I mean, he is, he's basically, he's just confirming what every national security and intelligence official of both his administration and the Obama administration have said, which is, Russia tried to help him get elected. Uh, and he's, he admitted it in this tweet, and now he's going to try to pretend that he didn't admit it, but that's a Freudian slip. He accidentally admitted uh, the truth. Because in the Mueller report, it says there was awareness. While there was not a conspiracy, it says there was awareness on the part of the Trump campaign that this was being done in a way that would aid the Trump campaign, which isn't enough to be a conspiracy, just the expectation that it would help. Right. But the fact is that the Russians, according to all national security and intelligence officials of both the Obama and Trump administrations, uh, the Russians hacked into or, or spearfished into Democratic accounts, got emails that were released that were damaging to Hillary Clinton, uh, and also did this disinformation campaign on social media. So um, while there's no way to compute uh, and figure out how many votes it affected, if any, clearly the Russians tried to help President Trump and hurt Hillary Clinton. And, you know, it's, what's remarkable is that it took President Trump uh, or any president this long to admit it. Uh, for this president, I'm surprised that he did admit it. Lit litigating what happened is obviously important, but there, Robert Mueller made this point yesterday at the beginning and the end of his remarks that Russian interference in the election is serious. We know it's ongoing. Right. Um, without the president, you having covered the presidency the way you have, mm -hmm. without the president taking the lead on an issue like that, what is the effect of actually, we know there are many people and agencies who are trying to do this. The Intel Committee is trying to counter this. But what's the effect when the president himself doesn't provide leadership on this issue? Well, there's a national security apparatus, and they are doing, I believe, the best job they can do in countering this. Uh, and I have spoken to some of the people running these departments, and you know, they say that regardless of what President Trump admits or says publicly or doesn't say to Vladimir Putin or whatever, they are doing their jobs, and they are trying to protect the country uh, from these kinds of intrusions, not just from Russia, uh, but, but for also from China, North Korea, Iran, others. The, the one thing they say is, yes, it would be incredibly helpful if President Trump used the bully pulpit to educate the public about this, meaning don't believe every social media, uh, everything you see posted on social media, uh, don't believe that, real, that people uh, on Facebook who are saying we're going to have a rally to do this are necessarily real. There's a certain uh, awareness that the public does not yet have, uh, and the president could help with that. If he wanted to, he chooses not to, and that is really where they fault him. It's not that they're they're not doing their jobs uh, at the National Counterterrorism Center. They are. They're doing everything they can. Um, but the question of could the president be educating the public more, that's something that they all wish he would do. As an educator in chief. Well, it's the, the reason that it's a bully pulpit is because when he says anything, people listen. And he, he could use the time to be educating uh, people about PTSD for veterans, uh, or he could be using the time to talk about uh, cybersecurity and, uh, and election interference, what the public needs to know. Or he could be using the time uh, attacking uh, a, a senator who's been dead for a year and uh, besmirching uh, you know, a Vietnam War hero like Robert Mueller. He chooses to, choose to use his time uh, and his bully pulpit the way he does. Jake Tapper, thank you so much. And we'll see you, of course, at 4 p.m. on The Lead. Thanks, thank you. Brianna. Thank you for joining us.